Nothing like the mic. Oh, good evening, everybody. This is the uh, November 13th meeting of the New Hampshire, uh, New Hampshire uh, Nottingham Conservation Commission. <laughs> I got to get, get out of some yeah. organizations, I guess. Uh, and uh, the, the clock on the walls is uh, about six after eight, but it's, uh, they haven't adjusted it for uh, standard time yet, so it is probably about seven after seven. Uh, my name is Sam DeMar and I'm the chair of the Conservation Commission. And on my right is Deb Kimball, who is the vice chair. On my left is Susan Mooney, who is the secretary. Uh, over there is uh, Dr. Cheryl Smith and Kristen Lamb. Uh, and then we have some guests in the, in the audience. We have uh, Dan Curran from Bear Paw Regional Greenways. We have Courtney Darrow from the Rec Department and well, with the Rec Department. With the Rec Department. And, and Luke Hurley. Uh, Luke Hurley. Who's, who's Go Environmental Services. Oh, okay. I didn't know you. <coughs> uh, let's see. I, did I have a quick announcement to make? Remember how that one? I thought I had one, but I don't. Can't think of it. Okay. Okay. We'll do it later. Yeah. So at this point, uh, the next thing on the agenda was a uh, wetlands permit, and I think uh, Luke is in, in here to, for that. So come on up. I didn't bring an easel. Um, sorry. So what? Do I have to put this somewhere where? It's going to be. Uh, they probably can't see it that well. No, right? no, I, I, think think um, I can just hold it up okay. and bring it really close. Uh, Luke Hurley, Golden Environmental Services, here on behalf of um, the Morses on 25 Highland Ave. Um, the house is down the end of Highland Ave, actually, the second to last house on the road, um, directly on Pawtuckaway Lake. It's an existing house, it was built a couple years ago. Um, they were just finishing up this summer. Um, a shoreland permit for some patio and some walls and other stuff. Um, the entire lot is essentially in the 250-foot shoreland buffer. Um, all that work is mostly done. They got that in 2014, so they're just finishing it all up this year. What they're looking to do now, it is a wetland application. However, there's no wetland impact, so stay with me on this. Um, what they're going for is a perched beach. If you're familiar with those or not, it's a beach. It's actually... I'll say no more. Beach in the upland. However, it's a water-dependent structure, so they have to apply with the Wetlands Bureau. Um, the maximum size allowed is 900 square feet, or up to a total of 25% of the shoreland frontage. Um, so they're going for the 900 square feet. They had an area down here, if you can see it, it's kind of hatched out. Um, probably can't see it, but right there. That um, was just temporary impact area as part of the shoreland application that they had. And they were just going to grass, this whole area has been grassed and seeded now in the front since all the work is done. They were going to keep that as just an open grass area. And they said, well, why don't we, if we can, we would like a perched beach. So we said, okay. Um, this area is approximately 900 square feet that they would like to have the beach in right here. Um, they're not cutting any trees to put it in. It's already open land. It's just, this area has been seeded just as a temporary stabilization measure. Um, but they do want to put in sand. Um, there is an existing stone face, just natural stones along the edge here, where it borders onto the lake. Um, what they'll do is open up a six foot wide section coming in landward for access down to the water. So they won't be doing anything directly in the bed of the lake. Um, so everything is in the upland, but as I say, since it's a water dependent structure, they have to come in not for a shoreland application, but for a wetland application. Mm -hmm. So they'll be doing that six foot access, just to access to swimming, etc. Yes. Yeah. It'll, it'll come into the upland. So they won't be doing that. Mm -hmm. Essentially, the lake itself. There's a dock on. There is an existing dock, yep, yeah, to the yeah. north. Um, I don't have my glasses with me. Well, it's ten square feet is what they're. Calling it up. But yeah, there is an existing dock that's there right now, and they're not, uh, it's coming just to the side of the dock where the beach is hoping to go. Okay. So this is keeping just open grass area coming down to it. And, and what, 
what design would the access stairs be? Do they go down to the high water mark? They will go from the, the high bridge. water mark up. And, and it's, what's so the it's elevation about a foot. Maybe oh, at the okay. most. So, so it's not going to be steps going down like into the bed of the lake. It's just going to be an open. Like a step or two. It'll be like a cut. Okay. More or less, because the large stones that are already there, I'm not here. It's like a rock pick. wall right now. Yeah. Yeah. So they just, with the stones that are there, they will just take out um, so they mm -hmm. can have access oh, will to Will they it. put like a step stone or a piece of slate in yeah. there? Yeah. Yeah. There'll probably be either a piece of granite or just other stones configured, dry laid in the sense where they can get down there. So they don't get a lot of wave action down there. They do, depending, like in the winter, they say they get more waves coming down. Um, just the way the winds tend to turn seasonally, but yeah, they're, tucked in a little bit yeah they're kind of pretty far down. I mean, the cove mm -hmm. is another 100, 200 yards to the south. Um, so they don't get a lot of wave action right there. But, but what will be the material on the uh, the path? Um, the footpath that's there right now. Yeah, that's just going to be grass. It's all been loamed and seeded. Okay. And it's the, since we had some warm weeks. After they seeded it towards the end of September, it's all all the grass is in now. It's all stabilized. So. Is that deeper water, or are there cattails, or any native vegetation? No, just water. It's just sand. Yeah. It's just sand just and sand. rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, naturally out in that area. As you get down in this area, I mean, I did do the del I delineated it and you know hung some flags along the area. Um, this is just. I mean, obviously the water goes up this way, the shoreline, but this is just natural stone rock shoreline and as you come up over here then it gets the wetland comes in a little bit more mm -hmm. um, and that's where it's you know ferns and some tussock sedge and some sphagnum moss and stuff like that but they're not impacting any wetland in here as I say there's probably a foot foot and a half from where the bank is and this natural stones and then down to the water mm -hmm. where it's uh, they're not being impacted in any of that this is a, a view of a couple pictures. yeah that was down yourself. towards the End of August. Um, I think um, we this is currently where, where all the stuff is. Is there's a tree there, so it's where the canoe is. Is that what we're talking about? Yes. Okay. Yeah, more or less. Yep. All right. Bench. So is that tree bench still forward? remaining? Or yes, is they're not moving down? any trees. And that's you know it's hard to point out the exact area that's there, but it just gives you an idea as to what it's like right now when it's just open. And all that stuff, as you say, has all been mm -hmm. packed up for. You know, the winter, so. And there'll be. I mean, they're mainly accessing with the canoe, et cetera, off of the dock. There's not yep. going to be a constant yep. movement of that down that okay. access stairway. I'm not picking up the map and lot right away. It is not directly on the plan. It's in the, well, it's in the, if you look down towards oh, the shoreline, yeah. 67 lot 20. Yeah, it's that, and it's also in the title block, too. So. And, and the um, um, horses live in the building now. Yeah. Yep. In the house now. Yep. The house has been there for a couple of years. Okay. That's how built. Where are they getting the fill? I'm just curious. Like, is there a place that guarantees because some fill is contaminated? It'll just you know, be not sand. Weed It'll just be stuff. sand. Yeah. Clean sand. Mm -hmm. As I typically say, clean fill. But yeah, I, I don't know exactly where they're going to be getting it from, but we'll, they'll make sure that it's not. It's, yeah, it's yeah. important because a lot of it gets mixed in with, it can have salt mixed in yes, with it. Yes, they'll make sure that it is just straight up sand mix. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It's not going to be mixed in with salt and yep. stuff that can drain through and get out of the water. And kind of important to make sure the vegetation isn't in it too in some yep. cases because it's a great way to move around stuff, yes. things, yep. invasive Seeds species. And stuff, yeah. Yes, yep, we'll make sure of that. And I see some other things that are proposed. Proposed trip line trench, stone swale, um, patio. And the infiltration, is that to capture run, runoff water from the roof? I'm going to say yes. I borrow this plan from the surveyor. The only things that are being proposed as part of this is the stuff that I added on in red. Um, the rest of it is the shoreland application plan that went in, I think, 2014. I see. That is all done. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's everything all been else has been done. Okay, Patio, yeah. all that yeah. stuff. <clears throat> I tried to get the surveyor to do it, and he said, I don't have time. I talked to DES and Darlene Force said, just add it yourself. And I said, okay. So I scaled, I scaled it off and measured everything, and so it's approximate. Um, 
But yes, that, that is all that's being proposed for now is just the beach area, that 900 square feet with this cut in to this um, step access to the water. That's all. Everything else is done. It's been approved. Um, it came up very nicely. There was no erosion. Silt fence was always up during the shoreline stuff. So, And all the grass and everything ruined in enough time before it got too So the cold. house was constructed in 2014 and everything was done then? house was constructed, I believe, in like 2012-ish. And then... In 2014, they got a permit to add some patio and okay. stone wall. And I think I remember that. Was there, was there a previous house there, and they just took it down and built on the... I would say yes, but I don't honestly know. Yeah, I, don't, I don't remember myself. Yeah, I think the size of it, you would think. It's almost 2,000 square feet. I remember the patio stone wall. Okay. Yeah, you got a rain barrel on it, too. Say that? I got a rain barrel on it. Oh, and there's a, a dry well and rain barrel and a couple dry different well. things there. Yep. Fireplace. Mm. I'm fine with it. Yeah, I'm fine. It's going straight into stone, mm -hmm. just sand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yep. Did it really at all to the Birch Beach? <coughs> was it pretty it's pretty flat with a it'll be yeah and the, as it exists right now and I apologize there's no topo or anything on there um, it's pretty flat when you get out I mean it, uh, I'm sure originally before a house was built it sloped down to the water mm -hmm. you know probably anywhere from 10 to 15 feet coming from the back where the road is mm -hmm. and then coming down um, right now it terraces the house is here it drops down maybe five feet to this portion mm -hmm. and then very gentle grade maybe a foot difference at most from here where there's you know patio and everything under the house mm -hmm. down to where the water is. As I say, it drops from the house down and then it's just flat. Okay. Maybe yeah. half a foot to a foot in elevation, but no, there won't be. There's not a lot of yeah. grade change there. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you look at the pictures, Sue, it looks pretty. Yeah. Did you it's see the picture, Sue? It looks pretty. Yeah. Flat. Did she see the pictures? The photographs. Yeah. yeah. No, I did not. <clears throat> it doesn't look like there's too much of a slope there. Mm -hmm. the now the house is on the highest part of the lot. Oh, I see. And then the rest of it is just any temporary disturbance they had down here. As I say, it's all been long deceded. <laughs> There's no trees on the plan. They didn't survey trees when they did the shoreline plan. I don't know why, but all the trees that are down here, you know, in the picture, they're all staying. So they're not taking anything out. That's why it's configured kind of an angle over there, so they don't have to get into any trees on this side or any trees over on that side. It's just you know, squeezing through everything. Anybody else have any? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any objection to yeah. going I, through? I make a motion that we accept the wetlands application and fill out our portions of that to approve mm -hmm. the wetlands application. Mm -hmm. Is there a second? A second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? So you're probably saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? I accept it. Thank you. And it is at the state. The state has it. Um, obviously, because you folks have it. And it is currently being reviewed, so. All right. If there's any questions from them, you guys will obviously get copied on it. And then you're also going back, you guys will get yeah. copied on that. And look at the current chapter now. Yep, you'll get a copy of that too. Yep. Yep. So you should have everything. Um, you may or may not have a letter of acceptance. I do not. I don't know where it is. We haven't received one. Do you perchance have one in your file? Just out of curiosity. I don't want to take too much time. Uh, I know that it's being reviewed at the state. It is in their queue. However, we never got a letter saying that it was accepted. But it obviously I'm not sure. I don't. That's, you may or may not have it. It's not important right now. Um, but just um, whether or not you got one, it has, in fact, been accepted up there, and it is being reviewed. Let me just check the September. We just never got a copy of the acceptance letter. So. You could request that to get another copy. Yeah, just, just to make for sure some reason no. they have three that they haven't sent anything out on. It wasn't in the September yeah. minutes. So. Okay. Yeah, because I, I was going to say this is, I didn't recall seeing this. No, no. It's the first no, I around. just uh, filed this maybe a week and a half ago. Oh, okay. oh no. Yes. Oh, yeah, they're not that quick. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes okay. I do. All right, well, thank you very much. Okay, do you need the... Uh, I don't need anything. Uh, this uh, was my, my signature on it, or...? Nope. Okay. Right. Nope, that's just your copy. Okay. For the file. Okay.
Right, okay, thank you. thanks. Yeah, thank you very much. Do you want uh, to put this with that? Yep. We don't usually have to sign off on that. Well, Sam did sign that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll see what happens. <laughs> hmm? I thought he was supposed to take the copies to the town clerk. Mm -hmm. Well, we only have one copy here, so. Yeah, it's supposed to be like mm -hmm. multiple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. All sorts of them. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Do we have any other wet ones applications that we know about? I guess not. Okay. Did you want to move things around? Yeah. Sure. Our guests? For our guests. Sure. Okay. Um, okay. Actually, Dan might be able. Well, Dan might be able to answer a question that I have. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll let Courtney give her a presentation here, and uh, I'll have a question as to whether or not if they donate the money to the. Conservation Commission and it goes into the fund if it can be used for trail development or something like that on um, probably there's no problem on con on easement lands but I'm not sure about town owned lands if we, they wanted to put it on the um, Marston property uh, I mean I, I'm not that, that familiar with it but I think there's a pretty broad range of things that you can spend money on as the commission. Um, Are you talking about money from impact fees? Mm -mm. Well, no. This no. This is uh, the, the rec department will, will is going to be having their uh, what was Nottingham Day in the fall is they're having the the thing in in May this year, and they were looking to donate the monies they collected the to the Conservation Commission to be used for, you know, things like trails and whatever. I thought we could accept donations. Yeah, we like can accept donations. I, I just don't know yeah. if, if we can expend them on something that's not in the conservation easement. Well, we don't have to put we don't have to put them in the conservation fund. Yeah, that's oh, what I was oh, saying. Right. Like the that's difference. A, I, yeah. I think that is a dedicated fund, and we've had this right. discussion before on right. other okay. individuals who wish to use that money for conservation things, but not for conservation easements. And that really has to hmm. be dedicated for conservation oh, okay. easements. We could have a separate escrow mm -hmm. account to do conservation yes. things. Okay. Like trail thing. work. Okay. Yeah. Right, the best place would be like the Marston property, talking about the trails or. Right. And like that's a discussion way. we can have down the road. Mm -hmm. But I think initially, no. um, we need to have a discussion with the business office to see if we can set up an escrow account just okay. for this purpose. Okay. I think that has to be a BOS decision, so that, because we're underneath their umbrella, so to speak. As a, as a. As lady. we all. It would be good to know <laughs> anyway, because we've talked about like down the line. <laughs> If we wanted pamphlets or whatever, you know, different things. If we wanted to have like a fundraiser or yeah. whatever, so yeah, mm -hmm. over and above a budget, right? Mm -hmm. Budget items. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think that's a pretty simple discussion. Just to escrow account or just an account that's a like a revolving yeah. fund, right? Yeah. A right. modest okay. one. Okay. What? Quite need a. Do you need any more information <laughs> no, than that? That's it, right? <laughs> so is that what, yeah, what do you so add to our it. little? Yeah. <laughs> so it's basically just the funds that we collect from our silent auction portion of the day. Cool. So we'd love to give that money to a group that would use it for town purposes. That's that's the main purpose of, of why we wanted to do this in the first place. Um, and to have you all be part of the day, too, is I think another topic love to bring up too is to have a booth on site near the silent auction to answer questions from townspeople and, and that kind of thing yeah um so we that we're all we usually set up right across from you pretty much yeah. Yeah. So so it's, it's, so it's is this at the regular nottingham day what, what the fall? yeah the silent no. auction it's thing? It's yeah. spring yeah. Yeah. so so but it's going to be changed this year not in probably in the spring yeah so we get we 
took it out in September because of timing, and we decided to, uh, Brooke came to us and wanted to do something revolving around Earth Day. Mm -hmm. And we thought, what a better opportunity than to make <coughs> this celebration that was so great something new and exciting for the town. So yeah. that's, that's uh -huh. the new focus. In, in Earth Day and, and, and so there's going to be an Earth Day theme to the yeah. whole Nottingham Day. The whole Nottingham Day will be all about um, you know people who live sustainably and free trees to plant. Trees is going to be well, we have UNH Extension who's going to help us out, so we'll buy us some plants to plant. Um, mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot about information, solar power, wind power, different types of energy. Oh, nice. Um, cool. So this group just fits. Perfect. Right yeah. in yeah. perfectly yeah. with what the theme mm -hmm. is, and yeah. because Nottingham Day didn't happen in September, we wanted to make sure we did something specifically for the town, since this is going to kind of go outside of the mm -hmm. town. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to make sure there was something, and, and like I said, this is right along that Earth-friendly line. Mm -hmm. You know, so mm -hmm. we're you know, getting two birds one stone with this one. Yeah, yeah. and, and I think it's good timing too, because I mean we're also talking about there's sort of a push to get access to trails and get trails mapped, and then right. thinking about kiosks um, yeah. at trailheads. Something along that line. So. Where is it going to be? Uh, right now it's planned for the school. Okay. So the same place as Nottingham Day. It's going to open at the town offices with a fishing derby. So we're, we're kind of mm -hmm. combining big events that we have to make it, to make it huge. So fishing derby, we're going to bring back the 5K. Um, and entertainment throughout the day, booths, vendors, food. I was going to say we could do like a, if you have like, uh, an itinerary or agenda, yeah. like we could do like a guided walk around the tree line. Right, along there's the, tree the trails right there. there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll hopefully be able to do walks like that, herb walks, mm -hmm. um, okay. talking about, you know, indigenous animals, how to protect the, the, them and us, and mm -hmm. so yeah, mm -hmm. all that stuff will be yeah. right. Uh, demo attempts too. Mm -hmm. um, if anybody has something that is earth friendly that they could demonstrate or talk about for a little bit, um, all that stuff's going to be there as well. Which is yeah. As interactive as we can get it, mm -hmm. basically. And the awesome. 5K is all yeah. about saving the bees, so yeah. um, bring that whole part of it into, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. bring all that. Cool. And we'll talk about pollinating flowers. Yeah, Wendy, so. Wendy Booth, isn't that? Yeah, we're, we're trying to get in contact yeah. with her, but yes. We're so. going to have the new, the new Hampshire Bee Coalition as well as the Pawtucket Way. Hmm. Uh, do they do well. native mm -hmm. bees as well as um, the Italian honey bees? I, I don't know. Oh, I know they're going to bring all kinds of information. They're going to have, hopefully, they'll be able to bring a little beehive, like a, you know. Yeah, a little catch, get, catch what do you call those things? Mm -hmm. Just a little one, so it's not like straw. a straw. Yeah. yeah. I get one in. Oh, well. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Yeah. Right now we can forward some info on to you guys and, mm -hmm. and get you caught up to speed on that, but. Yeah, that would yeah. be great. The other thing I was thinking of, like we always talk about the town-wide cleanups, but maybe even though it doesn't have to go on that day, we could have information mm -hmm. and get volunteers for people right. to be involved in a town-wide trash cleanup yep. kind of that thing, clean awesome. up our streets, yeah. and <laughs> so kind of coordinate that and then have it like the next whatever you know. Yeah, yeah. You guys have like a little table and a tent. You can put up pamphlets like you were just talking about. <laughs> Yeah, a sign-up sheet, anything, mm -hmm. you know, that can give you more information about what your group does. Mm -hmm. What's the date? Yeah. May 12th. Okay. I got to give her what she wants to say, April. May 12th. Yeah. Yeah. Earth Day is in April, but we're going to do it in May. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Is that Mother's Day weekend? It is, yes. Yeah, so um, yeah, that might be a bad idea. Have some special stuff for yeah, Mother's that Day. Might? And mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That might That's create a little bit of a conflict. That's the same weekend we always do the... Um, Fishing Derby on, so we have about a hundred families that do that. Fishing that we're hoping same to okay. get them over to have lunch at the festival and all that good stuff. So, hummingbirds come back the week before. Oh. They used to come back on the tenth of May. Now they come back almost at the end of April. Now. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, and ha hatchling turtles come out of their nest on hmm. Mother's Day weekend usually yeah. around yeah, that time. Yeah. Things to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good for the kids. We're gonna. Hope have a big kid section, so it'll be very interactive for the kids as well. So that'll be a fun mm -hmm. thing to talk about. Cool. Yeah. So we'll um, we're gonna launch our website soon, but we wanted to get in front of you guys to kind of have it be known that the money was gonna go towards your group, but we want to make sure we showcase that it is gonna go to conservation. Mm -hmm. um, and that's yeah. all right on the website too. Get that going. So we'll awesome. reach out probably tomorrow. I'll send an email out. Following up, and mm -hmm. thank you for choosing us. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah, it's wonderful. Okay.
kind of uh, write up or logo or anything you have that we can just put right on our website to give information. Mm -hmm. link we have that tree thing. Mm -hmm. we've, we've got the Conservation Commission logo. Yeah, that's so you just, you know, right to Courtney, and yep. uh, we'll get everything. We'll get it right and up the on the website. Statement statement too. Too. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yep. And maybe a little bit like ideas of um, where you think the money might go. And you could link on yeah. your page to. Oh, yeah, Hans Com page. Yeah, so we'll absolutely. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Whatever you guys want it to go, we'll send it. We can help, like Emma, uh, or on like the online. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We'll start advertising pretty soon. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
they'd be allowed some other camp, and it and it would be temporary. It wouldn't yeah. be like a permanent camp, and and he does still want to have um, the right to maintain the cabin mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. as it is. Mm -hmm. no yeah. One's put permanent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And again, that that's definitely. probably not likely to last over time either. But right. but it's important to him. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, are there restroom facilities by the by the cabin? Are we the talking cabin, about no, 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 yeah. So, they, they, none of them really have facilities, so they're not really they would not be used that much, you know. And that was intentional um, in the sense that, you know. Yeah, I guess that would be the thing sure with somebody temporary. camping yeah. for a whole summer or season. It sounds nice, but then you have that other piece of waste, or you know what I mean, like the other piece. Well, yeah, I mean they would have to the have tie they in. They have to use the house, so they would right. have, have an outhouse. They have well, composting it, toilets now that look like regular Johns. Yeah, yeah. either right. either mm -hmm. that or they. I mean, if, if they're using a a motorhome parked there. Yeah, and they could have it pumped out. Right. Mm -hmm. But yeah, and that, and again, that's why it was intended to be temporary. If it, if or he could rent one of those yeah, porta johns. Yeah, porta potties, yeah. yeah, rent a porta potty. Yeah, and that's probably. Oh, so maybe the encouragement the would be to, yeah, you know, probably. just be mindful of weight, whatever, something maybe written in mindful of waste or take properly take mm -hmm. care of mm -hmm. waste so there's not some person that he has on there that, you know. I, I mean, I, I don't mean to be daft, but is, is this like him having a friend stay over? Really? I so mean, like, occasionally it could be that, but but the one <laughs> example that he gave was the okay, fact that he had a caretaker. Care 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 oh, okay, yeah, right, okay. In okay. The okay. Summer, and, mm -hmm. and it obviously wouldn't last beyond that because you couldn't right. exist out there, uh, even on the side of the road in the mm -hmm. snow and stuff. So. Yeah. yeah. He's trying just, to tease out, like, what what is just John doing whatever he needs as a landowner and like what actually has to be written into a, an easement as a rule. Yeah, well, well like I said, the, the easement wouldn't stop him from, from having people camp mm -hmm. on it. There's nothing in it, especially right. if it's a yeah. clear, clear field that wouldn't be like <laughs> an effect necessarily mm -hmm. on, the, on the property and stuff. But he just wanted, again, w whenever someone comes up with something that's not typical, mm -hmm. which, you know, camping is not. But I guess if there's so we try to include it reserve rights so that they, mm -hmm. they there's no question going forward mm -hmm. that they have that right. Mm -hmm. I mean, as long as there's nothing in the, in the easement language as it is written now that precludes the landowner from, you know, allowing Hosting people to camp on the yeah. property or, you know, on a temporary basis or something like that. I think just putting the word temporary, yeah, temporary. Yeah, yeah well, just can't put up a and I'll reread structure. this section for you right now. So the, what, it, what we put in there was the grantor reserves the right to camp on the property in a temporary structure at an unimproved site that leaves virtually no visual evidence of having occurred and then ensures that the impact of the camping is consistent with the cons purposes of the conservation easement. That's good. So mm -hmm. I think it, I think it, yeah, it works great. for both yeah. sides because it does, it kind of hems them in because he does have to, you know, ensure that it's consistent with the purpose of the easement, and so mm -hmm. that would give the town teeth to say, you know, let's say they weren't, they didn't have bathroom facilities, and they were using the woods or something. It would give you the the, the, the right to enforce that kind of um, restriction, you know, but it also gives him the ability to camp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and that says at all landowner's discretion um, yeah, and right. with landowner permission. Yeah, it's always. I mean, because again, it's you. It's they own the property, and so they can allow anything that's not prohibited by the easement. Right. So it would always be by his. Yeah, right, but uh, you don't want to read like that the public can camp. Correct. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Not like yeah, this well, jamboree we, campground that's yeah. opened up yeah. Yeah. every weekend. <laughs> yeah. Whatever the fifty you know, campers are there or something. And we did add um, into the section one B. Talks about um, you know for the scenic enjoyment of the public, including access. But we did accept camping there too, just so there wasn't any kind of confusion. So it says that people can edu you know uh, access the property for low impact, non commercial, outdoor, educational, recreational use um, for such activity as hiking, wildlife observation, cross country skiing, but not camping. Way. Yeah, so mm -hmm. people regular don't feel person like they can't right come by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. yeah. <clears throat> and non non motorized, right? Uh, 
if we said non-motorized, uh, but well, yeah. It's, um, well, what about tractors? If that's going to be farmland. Well, he can use for, for Again, recreation. This is but recreation. We're talking about like four wheelers. Yeah. So recreation. my concern wow. is if somebody decides yeah. they're going to come in with a dirt bike or something yeah. like that, mm. if that's not spelled out in there. Yeah, and sometimes we'll put in there pedestrian, and I could include that. Mm -hmm. That way it's by foot. But it does allow, actually, within the reserve rights, um, I think we allow them to coast against that kind of <coughs> thing. So, yeah, the grantor reserves the right to post against vehicles, motorized or otherwise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stuff as well. All right. But so I didn't know if the town had had we had sent it off if you had, had to your town attorney or. Uh, I gave it to the. I think I gave it to the to Chris. You said the I had that in the last. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to think what I did. I had that in the minutes. I'll, I'll have to check with Chris. Okay, because mm -hmm. we're waiting for rice as well. Yeah. Okay. And I haven't gotten any comments from the commission on that, but um, the survey is done. We're essentially ready to close once we go over the documents one last time. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it'd be good to follow through with Chris, and if nothing has yeah. been done, to put up fire yeah. so that. Yeah, okay. And then because we're looking to you know, close by the end of the year. And yeah, yeah, the goal is to close both before the end of the year. I know okay. John wanted to, um, but th that's obviously up to you. Mm -hmm. uh, let, me, let me check with uh, Chris tomorrow. Let me make sure. I've, uh, yeah, you can talk to him too about setting up a fund. Oh yeah, yeah. That would be great. Oh, and and the other one is um, we should have the well, you should have the final canard uh, survey um, sometime later this week, and I'll have I'll have them mail it to you folks. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I thought I've seen so, copies of the survey. But so at least that will, yeah, well, the draft was done, but they're going to finish it up. And oh, so okay. Have that. And then we still have that voting on on me, town meeting day. Yeah, you folks have to decide whether you want to proceed with a town vote. Uh, or? For the conservation easement on Kennard. Or Kennard. 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 And why do we have to do that? Or just because I was well, at the last meeting. Uh, Chris couldn't see anything in there that when we bought the property that it was going to be put under a conservation easement. And he doesn't sure <coughs> that the town is aware of that. Has, has the, inter been? the interpretation is that when the town buys property, they are not allowed to sell any of the rights that come with that property. And a conservation easement would sell or or give somebody else rights to that property, which, which is a conflict of what the town does. So in order to now, do, do that. Now, do we have a letter of that from it was Mr. Just a little, it was just a little handwritten note um, yeah. to um. council that they sent, think, seemed to think it was adequate. And so probably to protect everybody, it seemed like the best way to go forth is to just get it out there, yeah. have it voted at town meeting just to make sure we have to present it properly and all that and have it done right as opposed to having some question or some you know yeah, someone done, bringing yeah. something yeah. up and there are, there is no evidence of that in minutes from when this was brought to the board of selectmen and that that was yeah Chris <clears throat> couldn't find it because this was back when Charlie was was the uh, I think yeah, because we already had a public it. hearing on it and yeah. everything. Right? Yeah, there was, mm -hmm. a, there was already a public hearing. So at least from my standpoint, if you have a public hearing, and there's no public comment in opposition to that, and the Board of well, Selectmen was, votes. Apparently, apparently it was to buy the property, and, and we're, not, we're not sure whether there was anything said about having a conservation easement on it. Yeah, so the, it sounded like, because I talked to, is it Chris? Yes. Yeah, Chris. Yeah. I talked to him on the phone, and it sounded like, um, the town attorney was saying because there wasn't any explicit, or I guess I wouldn't say explicit, 
there wasn't any written agreement to convey an easement in exchange for the prop purchase of the property. Um, they huh. they weren't sure that it was uh, legal to convey the easement because, and I think it's more about the gifting of the easement more than it is about selling. If you were selling the conservation easement, I, I'm pretty sure the board of selectmen can buy and sell property without yeah. town meeting. But, um, but so they're saying that because it wasn't explicit um, in writing, that that would be a condition of the purchase um, that they want to have you bring it to town meeting. And I could draft you guys something. Or, you know, that would be wonderful. I can get some, and I, and I won't do it myself. I'll get it from like the town of Deerfield yeah. has done it a number of times, the town of Raymond. Yeah. At least get you wonderful. a starting point because you're well, gonna, We don't want to discourage future landowners mm -hmm. from donating yeah, and that's the um, only other thing. Well, you know. well, you're going to need to get it. We, we bought it like at a bargain sale. You know, right. right. Well, that's a gift. Month. I mean, yeah, that's probably really that's generous. Gift, yeah. I don't want mm -hmm. other people to be discouraged because of yeah. <laughs> the bureaucracy. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean, he was definitely under the impression that the reason why he was selling it at a discounted rate was to, that it was going to be permanent. Right, and, right. and right. would having a, a support letter, a, a written letter from him notarized, I mean, at least in support going into yeah. town meeting that you have that so that goes in with the file? Because yeah. I'm, okay. I'm almost mm -hmm. positive if you went back and, and if we still had videos of those meetings in the public hearing and yeah. he was there, you know, what the yeah. intention was. From, it was so pretty verbal. It was understood yeah. that it was going into an easement. And I always thought, yeah. and mm -hmm. I think maybe one of the problems is this lingered for so many years. We've just had five, how many years? Five, seven years oh, wow. now? <laughs> yeah, so it just lingered and got on the back burner. Mm -hmm. And now that we're trying to get it through, it's like phew, this little roadblock. Yeah, um, and, and uh, to be honest, I'm not sure I agree with the town attorney because at least our experience has been that if you have a, if you make a deal with a, someone to purchase something and there are conditions, even if they're not in writing, they're, they're enforceable. Um, but, the, but your attorney didn't feel that way, and I don't know how much information they got. Mm -hmm. it, it's easier to go to town meeting than it probably is to try to. So I think turn, in the future. You know, the mind of the town attorney. Mm -hmm. So in the future, we need to be really sure about what we have in writing that's clear so we never run into this problem well, again. Well, we made that, remember we made that, I mean, we made that template <clears throat> that, that when we entered into something with somebody, it was, um, Mark really was pushing for us to do that. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. well, we haven't, we haven't used, used it. That. Well, let's but maybe if we go have back an opportunity to, to use it either. Right. Maybe we can dig that up and go But we back could to that. try and have the template and then have that filled out and used so that we have yeah. that documentation for town meeting so yeah. that the intention yeah. of we that need, sale yeah. was for this. And like I said, mm -hmm. I, you could go back to the Selectman minute meetings from that public hearing and you can go back mm -hmm. to, I, I'm almost sure well, that he also came. Why else would we ever bring something to public hearing if it's not for that? Yeah, I know, it would have been That's an easement. I mean, we wouldn't have mm -hmm. just like, oh, yeah. here's some land, we'll just let it sit there. Yeah. And and maybe be sold again. I mean, that's not what his intention was. That right. the town could that, sell it. Of course, that to what me, else would it be town buys for? land, it's protected. And I said, not necessarily. Mm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Not necessarily. Right. You go out and sell it again. Yeah. 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 Right. Huh. Or we okay. could build. Yeah, but that would be great if you could do a draft yeah. of us. But yeah, it has to be I'll in a timely fashion because we have to send it to our council yeah. and, and meet deadlines for it to get into the warrant. Yeah, <coughs> although the selectmen have more time than, than you, than it, it, most other people, so. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanks, Dan. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Is that your Thank coat? You. Whose Thank coat you. was that? Oh, yeah, this one. Okay. <laughs> You'll realize it when you're yeah, outside. Yeah, realize it. Yeah. <laughs> have a good night. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Thank you. you. <laughs> okay. Next on my agenda is uh, easement monitoring. Eight. Eight. Friend was done. One, one done. Any others done? No. Um, so Celia and I did it two, not this, <coughs> not this past 
Saturday, but the Saturday before. You know, I did talk to John Wallace. What was it? Excuse me, Sam. What was the date on that, Deb? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Not the Saturday, but the Saturday before? Yeah. 20, 20, 20. It was, it was the Saturday, Saturday was the 11th. How about the 4th? The 4th, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I, mm -hmm. I was the NHAC. Yes, NHAC, right. Thank yep. You. And that's when I talked to John Wallace. Uh, and he says they're not doing the men, their portion of the Menden's Landing this year. Okay. They just don't, they do it every other year, or what do they do? I guess. I don't know. So what does that leave us? We're supposed to, aren't we supposed to do that yeah. annually? Yeah. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Okay, um, and especially since they've had some logging, I think, going on in there. Mm -hmm. I don't, I mentioned it to him and he wasn't aware of any logging going on, so maybe they only did it in the Nottingham section, I don't know. Okay. Um, I can, um, I can probably do the Kimball one. Okay. Ed, it's like right down the street from us and I've done it a bunch of times, so I know the... Yeah. <coughs> yeah, okay. okay. Just just be aware that it is the regular hunting season going on at this orange. point. Wear lots of orange. You want to send out a date that's good for you and then see if you can get someone to, to join with you? Sure. Mm -hmm. And where are the um, medallions? Are they in the um, back? Everything should be out back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I should grab some Plus for the monitoring friend. monitoring forms and, and boards. Back out back. Okay. Should be yeah, the Kimball file. Charlie could go with us. Yeah, it's Okay. Probably, I know Celia has, uh, of course, expressed interest in that, so if someone wants to. And then we have the, the Highlands. We're not missing anything, are we? Friend, Mendham's, no, I guess we get five. That's right. Yeah, I copied off or somewhere. I don't know. Letters? No, I copied off the, uh, or I had the copy of the uh, letter we sent out last year for the Highlands. But I didn't have the original that I could change dates and stuff on. I sent you out as a Word document. All you had to do was just delete. And oh, okay. I sent okay. that out two weeks ago, right the day that you asked for, the day oh. that I read your email. Oh, okay. Want me to do it again, Sam? No, no, I'll, if it's out there, I'll, I'll <laughs> find it. Sometimes they come in as a, what I've noticed on some docs, if they're in different format, they come in to you as a read only sometimes, and then you yeah. have to like save it, save it, yeah. save yeah. as, and then it, then it will let you write over it. But I know okay. sometimes when I just, get something it's like wait I can't write on it and no, then it's no, like you have save, to save as. it put it onto your desktop and then you can edit it yeah but, but sometimes these are already on I've grabbed them and they're on my desktop but I can't do anything because it's a read only yeah I don't send so. those well you don't know if you're not sending them because sometimes they just come through as a read only no, no yeah. you have to do a PDF for read only on my no that doesn't work that way you, you, you can have a word doc but when they switch formats they can switch I've had it at school all the time It'll be my document <laughs> that I've like, wait a minute, that's the one I created. And I switch from one, you know, one I'll, thumb drive I'll to another. And see what so. you can do. Okay. Okay. okay, the other thing I figured I, I might be able to do is just scan it at the library to uh, over to the computer that I'm using. I might be able to change it that way. No, scanning's not great. Because oh, that'll come in. Not not allow you to can we just send it out and make sure? It, that's going to come in as a PDF scan. Yeah. Oh, really? And it okay. changes font and spacing and everything. So. Okay. Okay. But I've done that year after year. It's just gone back to the old one and just changed dates and stuff. Yeah, okay. I knew somebody had it. I, didn't, yeah. I wasn't sure who, whether you were sealed well, or sealed it or something. Um, Did you want to pick up a potential on weekend? Oh, uh, at this point, I probably won't be able to do anything until December. Okay. But I mean, somebody else could if they want to. But it's going to take more than one person. I, yeah, I know. Because I have a, a 20 year old that is uh, anxious to get out into the woods with me. Nice. I thought 
thought she was going to do it this weekend, but she didn't come down. <coughs> and her mother, too. Wow. Awesome. That's neat. I like when 20-year-olds want to go into a lot. There's 48. Yeah. Video games or <laughs> other things. Right, right, that they're outside. So I'm trying to find. So Liz, I, I, I mean, I got downloaded that, but evidently it didn't. Well, anyway, that, anybody got any ideas on when they can? Um, most weekends I'm open. I, I can be open on the, uh, the morning of the 9th of December. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I would be more available in the beginning of December than I would. I've got a couple major things coming up at the end of the month that I'm... And there's Thanksgiving, so... Yeah. And I'm... Uh, regular deer season ends on the... On the third, I, so. I could third possibly do, a, a, you know, like a part of a morning, but the I think I'm going to be working on okay. weekends to get the work done that I have to get done for. <clears throat> so we want to try to do the Highlands on the ninth. Okay. Because we're already at. Yeah, we're, we're half, already almost at. halfway through this month. So. Yeah, and I'm not volunteering for any long, big parcels. It's like Trinyanko is probably too big for me to do it. I had some hip problems since last week, so I don't like to overextend myself on that. So, so. Well, we'll set, it will be similar as this uh, beginning on uh, and I've got the there was one oh, three Washington Lane has Because it's really only this weekend and then it's I always remember seeing Mark West on one of them. Okay. Maybe it was North, but it was f f several of them. He's always doing it like December 29th. Like, like you start looking at okay. some so, of like so you know, North letter, letter, December yep. 30th, you know, like you just getting them in the by the end of the year. You do what you can. Mm -hmm. And some you don't have to. I think, you know, like, like with a Trinyanko, I would like be okay walking a trail. But I'm certainly, I've never done that one as like, I certainly wouldn't be walking all the boundaries. Like, friend, we walk the boundaries, which is a lot, but it's easy yeah, to do with the friends. Right. But some of these I've are I've done turn and go three times, I think, and I wouldn't be able to find my way on the boundaries. No way. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done it. I I, I've never walked there the is, trail. There's like a couple the spots uh, where you can, yeah. sure. you know, where the trail hugs it, but then yeah, it's I've, just I've very vast. Done. Wow. haven't done Trinincos and... Yeah. Sam, you and I did. It took us like four hours. I've done Friends what, what? and Mendham's and... Trinenko one time. Did it? Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to be. Well, No. Did you get lost? I think so. Yeah, um, yeah, I think we, we ended up going out. Uh, so Celia is the Trinenko expert. She is. Yeah. She's oh, yeah. going to... And if, and, if you're walking with John, and if you're walking with John, you probably get it done oh, yeah. in an hour <laughs> or less. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to have to keep apprenticing with Celia. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to send out e an email with um, um, these easement monitoring projects yeah. and the dates that we have or yeah. dates we don't have or the lead person? So I'm going to make you... Um, lead person for Kimball mm -hmm. and Celia for Tenenko. I have to ask her permission. Yeah. yeah. And, and I'm going to put you as lead person for Highlands, yeah. and then I can be lead person for Mendham's. Mendham's, okay. Yeah. <coughs> and, uh, do you know who to contact here now? Uh, was it, it used to be. I do not. I'll start. just send it to Mendham's Association oh. or whatever. Oh, Look okay. at the file. And okay. Okay. And maybe yeah. we could put out there, you know, if Christian Matthews, maybe he could help Celia with Ternyanko. If we ha it seems like we have fewer people now to do these, and there's a lot of them, and people get committed, and, you know, so I can. Is maybe. he the new fellow who showed up? At the he's last? interested in trails, and he's around some weekends, you know, I think. So maybe he'd be interested in like a Ternyanko. Do you have any contact information? Yeah, I could email him. No, email me too. Okay, yeah. Because I don't know anything no. about him. Yeah, any, but he might, I can imagine he'd probably commit to maybe one or two, but I don't think he's going to, you know, throw himself out there at all of them. But I think maybe something like a Ternyanko might 
interest him. So it's so cool. You can go through so many mm -hmm. different habitats mm -hmm. in one property. Okay, I'll take care of that. I guess. Uh, I went to the uh, NHACC annual meeting. Did anyone else go to that? Mm -mm. No, I don't want uh, nobody, to. Nobody from here. Uh, well, oh, uh, uh, mm -hmm. Crystal was there, but I think okay. she, she was there for uh, DES, is it? Oh. Was there? Okay, no, that. Or, or whatever. Whoever she's working for. Yeah, yeah. Okay. she was up there anyway. Cool. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, I did a, uh, the first one I did was uh, the DES Wetlands Protection and Enforcement, uh, Jay Obi from DES. The second one was, uh, it was a conference on getting grants. And mm -hmm. Ben Davis was a grant writer and did that, and I got some information on that. And then uh, I did uh, the one on how to address easement violations, and that was uh, Reagan Bissonette from mm -hmm. the Forest Society. Uh, this is. Well, some of the stuff that they sent me, that I, I got. Uh, somebody wants to look at this. Anything else there that supported all the great wetlands? Um, well, the I can Teacher review that like Mark West gave us that tutorial was awesome. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Let me let me just go over the the whole things. The first session, uh, they had the Fundamentals of Conservation Commissions. They had Wetlands, Wildlife, and Ecology. Emily Preston from New Hampshire Fish and Game. Conservation easements from the beginning with Tom Howe and Paul Gagnon Society. Um, share climate change in New Hampshire, connecting the dots from Sherry Godlewski at New Hampshire, at DES. Siting uh, trails with wildlife conservation considerations in mind. I didn't get to that. Yeah. Jim Moller, mm -hmm. State Lands Habitat Biologist, and Rachel Stevens, mm -hmm. the Stewardship Coordinator of New Hampshire Fish and Game. The Nuts and Bolts of Managing Town and Community Forests, Wendy Scribner, UNH Corp of Extension, working with the legislature, uh, Representative Amanda Gorg, I guess it is, uh, from the NHAC Board, and Representative Judith Spang. Uh, session B, uh, in addition to one I went to, was Conservation Planning for Water Resource Protection, uh, Peter Steckler of the Nature Conservancy, uh, Bat Conservation and Forestry, Jesse Moore from Native Geog Geographic, uh, How to ma Monitor Conservation Easements, uh, Reagan Bissonnette and Leah Hart from the Society. Actions to protect natural resources in a changing, changing climate. Amanda Stone and Lisa Gretchen, Gretchen from New Hampshire Cooperative Extension. <coughs> uh, OHRV use of town land. Uh, Captain David Walsh from New Hampshire Fish and Game. Students partner with local conservation commissions. Uh, Sarah Salad or Saladi from the Hollis Montessori School. Open Space Committee Best Practices, Amy Manzelli, BCM, Environmental and law, Land Law. Third session also had revising the NHAC Handbook, Share Your Ideas, with Carol Andrews. Protecting Water Resources and Zoning and Groundwater Reclassifications from Pierce Rig Rod from DES. <coughs> uh, wildlife Corridors and Road Crossing from Pete Steckler, the Nature Conservancy. Climate change in mm -hmm. New Hampshire, science sophistry and solutions, Dan Weeks of Revision Energy. Introduction to Trail Finder, Emma Tootin, UNH Cooperative Extension, and Lulu Mellon, National Park Service. Conservation Planning and Community Engagement, Jeff Littleton from Moosewood Ecological. And Wetland Bureau Rules and Policy Update, Mary Ann Tilton, New Hampshire DES. The keynote speaker was uh, Sylvia Bates from the Land Trust Alliance, used to be at Forest uh, Society. Synergy behind community land conservation. Good menu. Yeah. <laughs> and they saved the date, uh, the next meeting, uh, you know, uh, it'll be no, uh, November 3rd next year. And that was in Pembroke, right? That was a PA, yeah, Pembroke Academy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
Then I went, uh, before that, on October 31st, uh, I went to, uh, a few days before the, on um, a, um, a discussion on nitrogen septic systems, Great Bay, and why it matters uh, over at, uh, and that was over at the, um, Great um, yeah. Discovery Center, Great yeah, Bay Discovery Center. Yeah, Great Bay Discovery Center. I didn't realize that Depot Road in Stratum went into Depot Road in Greenland. <coughs> so I made it all the way, you know, I went all the way down 33 until I, you know, saw the highway and I said, no, I don't know what to do. don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. Was that a day long thing? No, it was a uh, half day. Um, morning. morning. Uh, Wasn't it morning during the week? Yeah, mm -hmm. it was a Tuesday morning. <laughs> uh, uh, Dr. Bill McDowell of the University of Hampshire talked about the nitrogen cycle and its impact on seacoast communities and waters. Uh, Mitch Locker and Rob Tardiff of New Hampshire DES and Glenn Greenwood, Rockingham Planning Commission, talked about rebel state and local drinking water and septic system regulations. Chris Albert from Jones and Beach Engineers talked about denitrifying septic systems, treatment technologies, and tracking effectiveness. Hmm. Uh, Dana Truslow from Truslow Resource Counseling and Vicki Nelson from the Rockingham County Conservation District talked about passive treatment of nitrate in groundwater. A review of the Piscataqua Permeable Reactive Barrier Pilot Project. Hmm. They put some stuff out, you know, semi-circular down, downstream from the septic tank, then it apparently filters some more of the stuff out. Hmm. And they use uh, wood chips. Oh, wood chips, oh. okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a bio, like a bioreactive kind yeah. of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, uh, Apparently uh, it'll last at least 10 years, you know, huh. before you have to change the. Wow. That's interesting. Uh, and then there was uh, Michelle Tremblay and Suzanne Peterson. Uh, well, Michelle Tremblay from the New Hampshire Rivers Council and Suzanne Peterson from the LRAC, local watershed initiatives in the Winnicott River and the Lampert River. Um, is there are there any proposals to change any regulations or update any? No, this is more of you know, you know, what you can do to. You know, so now that we know more what the impacts are. Yeah. So ways to treat. Well, because well, I think for most, if you think of a landowner, you have your septic in and there's a way that they might be able to help it out a little more, yeah. particularly people mm -hmm. that live near a lake or the Great Bay or wherever. Mm -hmm. River. Mm -hmm. I mean, like that kind of thing, a, a fix, you know, something that could help mm -hmm. prevent some of that because most landowners aren't just going to like well, unless it's totally failing I'm not going to I mean you know, none of us are it, either yeah. I'm not going to throw out ten thousand dollars just right. for a septic mm. because there might be a little leaking well, that somebody right. said well, she's on what the, these the would be great pilot project was, so. mm -hmm. if they can get that word out or how to or whatever mm -hmm. might be less costly Uh, they reviewed the septic system plans, walked around the property, identified practices that either impair or enhance the proper functioning of a septic system. And then they, uh, yeah, avoid using bleach and other stuff like that in there. Yeah, do not right, put anything bulky in the toilet paper down speech. the drain. I'm always like, do not dispose of garbage, cigarette butts, food waste, grease, chemicals, or medications down the drain. This one doesn't say about the, uh, about that plant. We do. Yeah. 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 That's the sponsor. At the end, they got a nice little certificate. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. You're everywhere at once, Sam. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there was a good, um, we, were at, we had that dinner, Sam was there, 
Oh, he the, was speaking, uh, yeah, 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 the, the Lamprey, oh, the Lamprey River, River Watershed Association had their annual meeting on the 20... October something, yeah. some Friday. I was there, yeah. Celia yeah. was there. Nice. Uh, last Friday, Liz. Like 27th, I think. Yeah. Oh, like the, who like was the speaker again? Uh, Ted, Ted Deers. Ted, Ted Deers from DES. Yeah, he was entertaining. He was entertaining. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's that. Correspondence. Okay, that's, that's the other one's letter. Okay. We've got a notice of intent to cut wood or timber on Jabig J- Road, map 18, lot 3. Oh, that's already started, I think. Oh, uh, I don't think I've done this one yet. Uh, that's 22.68. Acres and they're cutting 13. So, uh, this was cut, what, cut how many? I'm sorry. Cut 13. Cut 13. Out of 22. Yeah, and this is a 29 Jebby Grow Jebby Grow. Is that is that a, a different one? Cause didn't we have a big mm. intent to cut? Mm-hmm. That was a big one. This is I thought it. Sir, can you see? Yep. Because that's um. No, because this is um, Scott and Stephanie Tennyson and David T. Young as landowners. The other one was good. I can't think of her name. Is there a date on that, Cheryl? Uh, it was received 10 16 17. There's an uptick of fox and other sightings on Garland that coincided fox? with the cutting. Because oh. they're cutting across the river, so. Uh, oh, they all ran over? Yeah. Yeah. Swam over, whatever. Not, mm. not so much down our end, but I think more. Yeah. Okay, we got the uh, They cut that went. right at that corner near our property uh, when they first started and then worked out, and now they're working back again. Okay, yeah, they, uh, this is, uh, uh, I don't know what is. And the Wetlands Bureau application for a new dock at Pawtuckaway State Park, and this is from the Park Service, I believe. Mm-hmm. 128 Mountain Road, and there's a bunch of stuff, and you even got a... Why do I think I just thing, heard this? Thing, thing. Don, cause Don sent it, it came through in an email. Mm. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. All right. Yeah, right. And, uh, we got, that's right. And we I just got a uh, like, okay. Okay. Yeah. just got a, a copy of the letter from the from DES to the state of New Hampshire, uh, saying that they're missing some items in the. Oh. In the I was just going to say, the oh, the state items. did it. We don't have to review it. <laughs> oh, good thing DES does. <laughs> right. On top of it, right? Because they're like, well, it's the state. What are yeah. they going to say about it? You know, they want a new dock. We're going to stop. <laughs> Anyway, it's, uh, what is it? Are they just replacing the dock? <coughs> um, yeah, what are they doing here? Scrolling in front of over a quarter mile. That's okay. uh, install a seasonal aluminum. 60 by 6 foot dock with an 8 foot shore ramp. And I think it was. I thought there was some information here somewhere. Yeah, I Apparently, Don wants a sign, a, a scan of the signed copy, and I don't even have a signed copy. Other than. Hmm. Did he send you a, you know, a copy for you to sign, or? Well, this is probably it's, it's not a minimum.
standard review, so it's not a not an extra value so. See that intent to cut again. I'm sorry, intent to cut. Yeah. To cut again? It's like a chopped guy. I can't. On the I can't find. Yeah, I can't find it. I don't know what's. What, what's the uh, map and lot number? For the intent to cut. Yeah. Map, 18. map eighteen, lot three. I, I, that's okay, Sam. So you can continue with the other stuff. I'm going to bring. I've got the tax maps. She's so got them up on her computer. Oh. I'm just. <laughs> trying to. I just wanted to take a quick look at it. There's three right here. 22.68 acres. Is there any development on either side? Well, oh, they only, they can't, they don't have, uh, they probably could. It's, looks like this. 648 feet of frontage on the big road. So it's a long, narrow lot. Yeah. All right. So maybe just, I guess, getting a lot of wood off of it. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't it usually say what kind of wood they're taking? Yeah. This is pulp wood. 60. Oh, wait, the other things that you were going through, Sam? 60 yep. of, of Are you still going through? white pine, 20 of uh, black, 5 of black. Are there two ash. copies? There are two copies. Can I have one to look at? From Beach Pellet Catalog. 100 uh, tons of hardwood and aspen and 500 tons of biomass chips. Hmm. Tons of aspen? Well, hardwood. Hardwood, okay. I was like, hmm, that's what. So pulpwood. Oh, that's that one. Uh, sorry, so, uh, something popped in my head. Did, did have we heard back anything back about the um, cement? Or no, it's still in process, as far as I know. Yeah. Okay. The last communication was that the um, the lady at the state asked the applicant for more information, and then he sent all that along and copied us. Okay. Okay. And I'm trying to think back if I if I see through the Delta all of you guys. I usually do that. Mm -hmm. um, but that was a while ago, a yeah. couple months mm -hmm. ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Okay. Um, that was the previous meeting. Um. Yes, so we've got September 11th. We so just that. just an FYI, yeah. so so this piece of property that's being logged is adjacent to the Draper property that's currently being logged. Mm -hmm. oh. Do you think it's the same? Is it the same logger? Can you tell? You can't tell. I can't that. tell because the logger stuff is. I have to look at the other. Dalton Mountain Forestry. That sounds familiar though. Um, I have one of these. Is the other one 44 acres or something? Hmm. Uh. This is the September 11, 2007. Yeah, I've got a couple. Uh, did you get my note? Tonight? So that's 20. No, I, I, it was out. After I sent that along today, I had an hour to finish cleaning the big company no. to send it from Maryland. Okay. And that was uh, that. Okay, you know, capitalized Dale. Oh, that too. I didn't have time to prove it. I really uh, okay. And also, is on the second page, is Pembroke spelled correctly? Is it O O K? Or no, no, it's uh, the. Uh, Pembroke, like yeah. I, I've yeah. gone broke. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and there was another question I had too, but I forget what it was. No, it's not Pembroke, it's Pembroke. Okay, thanks. not have time to write up the uh, trail walk notes. Okay. Uh, I'm capitalizing current on
So just another F FYI. So according to the tax card, there are 14.8 acres that are in managed pine. The rest of it's farmland and residential and open. So they are logging basically all that's oh, in forest. Yeah. Really? So there's 14.8 acres that are mm. in managed pine. There's... Um, mm. So is it a harvest? Yeah, a one. It's a complete harvest. Mm. Well, their acreage of cut is 13. That doesn't mean that this, that doesn't mean they're necessarily c taking all of it. It doesn't mean it's a clear mm -hmm. cut. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just be timber stand improvement. Mm. <clears throat> or something else. Mm. Okay. So it just makes you wonder because you've got three okay, pieces that are adjacent to each other. Mm -hmm. I found a couple. Uh, see, this is where you would months, sign. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, signature. Yeah. Yeah. That's where uh, minimum. We review this application and have waived our right to intervene for RSA, blah, blah, blah. If the application is submitted for this, accurately represent the proposed project. There's no objection. They're using the one form for everything now. So I don't you don't think that you have to do this for, for that doc? It's a, it's a standard application that they put in, and I think that I only sign if it's uh, expedited, I think. I thought expedited was the quick and dirty. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I mean, you got to get there. Standard review, right here. Oh yeah. Okay. Minimum, minor, or major. So it's the standard review. Yeah. It's not expedited. Right. So that's the only ones we have to sign. Expedited. Right. We don't have to sign any of them, but I mean, uh, the the expedited one. Uh, the, if we don't sign it, I think they have to go. Hmm. So that guy didn't realize that his okay. expedited review only requires that the commission signature is obtained. Mm. Okay with the minutes. Okay, I, I did the uh, a few cap capitalized little ale capitals. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, uh, and Kern. Aside from obvious capitals, that yeah. and you Kern is in. Red, so I can yeah. do that. Okay. Mine's all. Yeah, I did mine in blue. Good, thank you. So I move that we accept the September 11th minutes as amended. Second. Uh, seconded. Uh, all those in uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? You guys have it. Any, oh, any yeah. abstentions? Forget that. <laughs> okay, well, that's the only minutes we have, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, we talked about setting up the trail committee. Well, yeah, I saw emails on that. Yeah. Would have been here to come um, alongside. We Liz. are, right, we'd That's like to set up a trails day. committee. Liz would like to chair it, or Liz and I co chair. Yeah. I might just have her chair it, and because um, she's good at organizing stuff. Um, and we were thinking of the first meeting. Um, she's going to check into, we don't know when it will be because she's got to check into places, whether it's library or a space here. So she's looking into Tuesdays or Thursdays for the trails meetings. And uh, one was not next week, but the week after. So the very last week of November. <coughs> We're looking into that, and we've emailed Christian, who is um, the 
GIS specialist who can help out with the mapping piece <coughs> okay, so um, to make yeah. sure that he can, you know, which one can we make and then we'll, you know, work around that. Okay. You're, looking at, you're looking at the 21st uh, for the Tuesday? Uh, okay, sir. No, no, we're going beyond. Uh, after, after Thanksgiving? Yeah. Okay, the Tuesday the 28th or yes. Thursday the 30th? So we're 30th. looking at the 28th or the 30th. Okay. Correct. And if we can't get anything in then, then we'll move to December. Okay. Okay. I won't be around. Yeah. But we figure whoever can make it and yeah, we'll awesome invite like some other folks yeah. like Celia is interested, mm -hmm. like maybe Leanne, mm -hmm. you know, that sort of thing can, would make that commitment saying, okay, maybe I can make a few meetings or whatever they can commit, we can, you know, and then okay. do some out, you know, and then do more trail stuff. So we're hoping it's, you know, kind of more you know, um, free to be able to get that stuff done. And, uh, and that's the focus is trails and um, creating some maps for some properties and learning how to do that. That's cool. So and we will be keeping folks in touch. Okay. Is there anything we need to do officially for that or do we have no. to go through, to, you no, know, no, we don't no, want to be can, too official. We don't want to be political or how you have to do X, Y, Z, Q, because then people will just go, forget it. Yeah. You know, I want this to be as simple as possible you so we can just nimble. get the job done. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is all outreach and... Right. Yeah. So do we have to announce, um, aside from doing emails, do I have to put anything... Uh, you probably, you know, you know, once you decide on a date, mm -hmm. then we'll probably have to have a at least a 24-hour notice of a committee meeting. Okay. So they can be posted on the wherever. Okay. I'd love to be involved. I just, I have, like, time. Just, I'm just being realistic about time. But if there's anything I can do as far as, like, writing up any natural history or incorporating any ecology info on the campus. That would be great, right? If we do, do if we end up producing a little booklet or something mm -hmm. like that. I mean, I think it would be great. I've seen other towns do little booklets of their trails in town, and then they have it. You have an online version, and if you get some funding or monies, then you can have some available in the library, that yeah, sort of I thing. I mean, that would be a good home. thing to do a moose grant for, for mm -hmm. would be if you wanted to do something like print print stuff would be oh, good. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I mean, I'd, I'd be willing to help, but I do, I just know that until this semester is over, until the meeting mm -hmm. season is over this yeah. fall, I'm max. And I think really our work will be probably winter, spring. And we'll just kind of yep. get our feet wet with, well, let's, you know, mm -hmm. maybe walk one simple thing and get an idea and then bring that back and start learning about mapping and then do all the other logistics in mm -hmm. spring and, you know, so whatever yeah. we can do at whatever rate, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay. Turtle signs. Have they been? No, no. They're not, not yet. Not yet? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, can you give me Christian's name mm. again so I can get it in the minutes? Christian Matthews. Matthews. H-E-W-S. Mm -hmm. H-E-T-H-E-W-S. -E yeah. And when you send out your email, don't, don't forget me and Gast. Yeah. Um, I was, Liz gave me her, yeah. Liz gave me her, um, so I did actually send out for people that were not on the Conservation Commission, I sent the it to, to okay. Celia and um, and Christian and Leanne. Okay, good, good. And I actually mm -hmm. even sent it to Heather because she's kind of into hiking. So our water volunteer, Heather, I don't, you know, I figured, well, she might not, but yeah. I figured I'd send mm -hmm. it to Yeah, and Allison does oh. roadside, roadside pickup, so they've picked their, their volunteer okay. activities. Yes. Mm -hmm. so might be, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Turtle signs. Yeah, I think that would be, we're, that's the way to go. <clears throat> turtle signs. We've we've uh, taken care of the one on Freeman Hall Road. Uh, I don't know if any of the other ones have been flipped up. I haven't up, done so. Street yet. I'm waiting for my husband to get off his butt. Oh. <laughs> I thought um, Chris said that we could just tell the DOT when we wanted it done and they would do it. I mean, the town crew? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, I thought that the, I person. thought that that was you know, they would put up the things, but we had to flip them flip up them and down. down. That's what we were. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. I couldn't remember. Okay, so have any of the others been done? There's anybody? two out on Berry Road, Berry Road, and what's the other road that swings around in the back? 
what's the name of the brook that goes to Rollins Road? Right, so Rollins, there's yeah. Rollins Road and Barry Road. This and then Deerfield. I don't remember seeing the Deerfield. Yeah, Road just one at Deerfield Road. Yeah, mm -hmm. one on Deerfield Road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't remember if that's been so flipped down. Five? Five, yeah. Okay. I thought there were six. Five. Because <laughs> they only had five left, I think. Oh, I don't know. I have the. Oh, I, I thought, had I it thought in there were email. six. I thought there were six, too, because I, I ended up getting six washers. Okay. <coughs> What's that? Do you have washers? Washers, because the if you, you flip the signs up, uh, the bolt doesn't really catch the edge of the sign. You can't, and it, the bolt is not long enough to go through both signs and into the post and secure it. And secure it. Yeah. So uh, we've we've left one one bolt, you know, for the sign to be held up, and then the other one kind of, you know, goes through and you know, put these on on the head of the bolt. And Where's the one in, on Deerfield Road? Uh, I think it's it's near the um, it's where Flutter comes out, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Didn't I well, see Flutter coming out? Well, there's I I have them. I had it all in a document, so I can just. I thought it was near the town beach it entrance. Because there's one, there is one by Flutter when you're coming down the hill, and then oh, there's. Oh, Deerfield Road before Flutter Street. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I there's. Go to, I go to the end of Flutter Street and take a right. Yeah. Okay, so it's yeah, it's yeah, on the downhill it. side. It, right left of coming yeah. out and then there's another one on deerfield and then i think we put one on another uh, one on deerfield too mm -hmm. coming the other way for that same yeah, I don't remember section that. yeah but i um i what do we my specialty is in where the turtles are <laughs> and helping get the signs up. So what do we have to do, I guess, for like washers and stuff? Where is all that stuff and what do we? Well, it's mainly <laughs> uh, what, what, what we did. On, yeah, I don't know if you saw what we did on Freeman Hall Road. Yeah, it looks like it was pulled down and then over. Yeah, uh, you know, to get it out of the way of the plows. Mm -hmm. you know, so the plows didn't, you know, wreck it without taking this. Yeah. Post down. So you took the sign out? Or no, no, the, we, we just. Well, rotated it. Rotated it. Rotated it. Yeah, you know, we folded it up, rotated it. So the point is pointing away from the road. Mm -hmm. You know okay. how it's pointing yeah, it all right. this way? Yeah, all right. Yeah. You do it this way, so mm -hmm. the point goes okay. that way. Okay, all right. It's not to be spent but, by the But then, then uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I had it set up there, and then I went back and with one of these and put that on, and that caught it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you have, like, a wrench or something? Yeah. You need two. Okay actually one to hold and the other to turn okay. so one secures it on one side and the other person turns it to tighten okay. uh, Ed and I can probably take the ones on Barry and then I can yeah I was thinking that Bob and Sue could do Barry and Rollins okay and Flutter Street okay <coughs> and maybe Ed and I What's can the take the on, Deerfield uh, ones off the Deerfield and was the Deerfield one done I don't think so I, you know, I, yeah, so I, that's I, near I, you too Sue so I don't know if you guys are together. is that closer than the well, we could do that instead, yeah. I just have to find it. I'll uh, just send that no, email out again because right. I had the exact, like... Okay, I'll trade trade you then. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that was... So you got three three signs, two on Deerfield and one on Flutter? Like, yeah. So it's three. And these for the Berry Road and Rollins Road. Okay. Thanks. Okay. No, I'd like to get reimbursed for those. <laughs> for a how lot. much, Sam? Uh, three dollars. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They were fifty cents a piece. What do you call these things anyway? The washers. Washers. Large, you know, large. Large washers. Washers. I make a motion that we should uh, reimburse. Oh, right, before we get that far. Okay. You have another. I, I also have uh, two mileages. The one for the septic system thing, which was uh, forty point four miles. And the one for the NHACC, which is 41.6 miles. Okay. What about mm -hmm. the conference fees? The conference fee I already submitted, and we've got, a, okay. got that back already. Okay. okay. I make a motion to reimburse Sam for the washers. And the mileage. And mileage for his two workshops that yeah. he attended. Second. I second. <clears throat> uh, any further discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, anybody opposed? I'll abstain just because it was coming to me. <laughs>
Well, just hope so, too. Just mm. Okay. Anybody got anything else? Uh, yep. Oh, okay. Um, what about the letter regarding road maintenance issues that I put a top and a bottom onto and sent it out on the 4th of November? Uh, it, not, it has not gone anywhere since it was put together back in July. It got to everybody. Yep, and then <coughs> I thought that we had voted to have that go to the We did, but it didn't have a header. It didn't have an introduction uh, header or an introductory paragraph, and it didn't have a signature on the place either, so I did that. Okay. And Sam said he was waiting to hear from somebody else besides me. I did reply. Not unless I didn't hit send. Is that the road one? <laughs> <laughs> road maintenance. Um, Raylene Are there replied two copies to. Here? No, this is oh, no, that's the, the original that oh, Kristen did. Oh, okay. And I then what I did is I just took that and I, and then put top and bottom. Do you want to read through that? So that you want to okay. Okay, to the 9 a.m. select board from the 9 a.m. Conservation Commission regarding town road maintenance and improvements, present practice concerns, and future opportunities for adjustments that would posi positively impact Nottingham's natural resources. Dear Chairperson Donna Dene, is it? Dene, And other select board members. At the Conservation Commission meeting of July 10th, 2017, members voted to construct a list of present road work practices that appear to be negative, negatively impacting the town's natural resources, including standing trees, wetlands, and the animals that depend on wetlands and the surrounding supporting landscape for their continued survival. Please review the following action items that, when adopted, would increase local protection of our natural resources. One, spread of invasive species through... You don't have the do all of that. We already oh. approved that. Oh, okay. But that just what the new that, stuff. Oh, the new stuff. Sounds good. Okay, I, think, I guess that's no, all. Okay. I think it sounds good. I make a motion that we go ahead and send that letter on to the Board of Selectmen. Okay. Uh, is there a second? A second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of signal by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstain? Can I apologize? I thought that I had replied to that because I filed that letter in my electronic <coughs> file, but um, there's a couple of other little things. It didn't go. Um, and I have one on our last month's thing too that I had in my minutes, but um, so sorry to interrupt. It was that anonymous postcard. Oh. Sam, did you check that out? I was thinking of it. I never got there, so I just want to know. We didn't on O'Brien, off of Annalisa. Uh, no, the we. Uh, I turned it back into the board of selectmen, or to that town office. Okay. Um, and it was anonymous. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't yeah, it was a fifty-foot conservation easement encroachment, is what it said. Yeah, it was and anonymous. Well, and and uh, the I think we were looking <coughs> at the, it's not uh, town conservation land. Uh, uh, it should be handled by the uh, homeowners association down oh, there, okay. which uh, you know everybody that is in that group is uh, in that. Um, yeah. Development. Hmm? Development. Development. Yeah. Okay. Uh, has access to that uh, association. Yeah. For these kinds of matters. Yeah. So the select board or the town manager told you about the. No, the, uh, no, the, um, I just, well, I see, no, I hope I talked to Chris about that or not. I talked to Don, and uh, I, Chris, I think I did talk to Chris about it. And, okay. And it's, uh, you know, it's. Some of those little conservation properties, it's owned by RCCB. <coughs> Sam, I think you should write down notes when you go talk to Chris and remember mm -hmm. what you Have a list. About. Because I bring your little notepad. Yeah. Bring your, yeah, bring your notepad or something. All right, so the town manager said that this is a um, housing, it's, it's, housing it's, yeah, the, uh, association uh, matter. Yeah. Not in their purview. Yeah. Okay. But also, those easements are held by RCCD. Yeah, I thought so. so. That would be the well, I, don't know if, I don't know if it's an easement, it's just a common land. Oh, I, I thought that either. was a. 
conservation mm -hmm. easement because we there joked are some about it. In there, but we, I'm, yeah. I don't know if there's common land that's not in easement. Because we used to joke about that was our first. It was the original. Um, <laughs> right. The original, <laughs> right. And the way they did it was all these crazy lands with steep whatever overhangs right. that where you couldn't build anyways right. yeah. so what they put, put right. in conservation. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I thought it was. <laughs> And where, where is this? Done? This is in the Francesca Way development. Mm -hmm. It's on O'Brien Drive. And what, what is um, it, again? it was a 50-foot conservation easement encroachment, is what the the anonymous postcard what, what stated. Looking I'm looking at 58 right now. And that's no, and that's no, in. Yeah. It's off of Annalisa. Yeah. Which, oh, so which, which one are we talking about? Francesca oh, okay. Way, the okay. Francesca okay. development. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. <coughs> it was our first down. development one. with the um, first big development, especially with that a little housing lots with a. Uh, yeah, let's see. Before mm -hmm. see or after. Patriots. Patriots. Oh, before. No, that's O'Brien. It was before Patriots. That's O'Brien. Yeah. No, 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 I meant okay. if you're heading east. Oh, no, we're is nowhere near Patriots. Right this in this Lisa one? Lay. No, Francesca Way. That's over by um, Barry, Poor Farm. Barry, okay. Yeah, Barry Rose. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Were you thinking of Sophia? Yeah. Maybe. That's what I always get them mixed they all, up. I know, Annalisa, <laughs> Sophia. Yeah, I know. All our <laughs> developments I get. Yeah, I get confused. Right here? This is it? Are these the easements? I mean, we can forward it on to the homeowners association. Maybe not. Okay, what else? What's, what's the next? What's the next? To be honest, I, I, I don't C1. think the homeowners association would. So this is act a green. This is a green parcel here. here. It's really up to the if RCCD, which Seems I think to me does. Something up in back have, of. You know well, the, the monitoring and all that. Yeah. It yeah, yeah. Probably the whole should. property has a. And maybe they would catch it with their own monitor. We'll see what the other one. 54? <laughs> kind of wonder. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. What, what lot number? Oh, okay. Or do we know? We don't know. Yeah, we don't know that either. It's 55. Oh, but here's oh, the big oh, buffer oh, here. Oh, it was this, this one here. Buffer. But that's not off Annalisa. Apparently off of well, this the, these, are, these are over off and Lisa it's here. It's O'Brien and O'Brien. Just O'Brien. Just O'Brien. O'Brien. Well, the, the only thing I could see about the, the fifty foot easy thing would be here and that. So, and so here's the here's the here's the map with the yeah. easements <coughs> highlighted. Fifty-five three dash three. <coughs> I think it's listed as so com it's, common it's, land. It's three E and two, which I think is pro. This is probably common land right here. Uh, no, it's actually this. I like how they broke all that. Three so two. This one. Kind yeah. of a joke. This is the big one. Yep. Great. So that's yeah. this one right here. Yeah, that might be the one they're talking about. Well, C1. But they, well, they're talking about a fifty foot. Yeah, that's just the first one. The only thing I see is fifty foot. Is this one up? Then there's Where then there's this one. This one here. Right? There's this one right up here. Yeah. Yeah. But that but that doesn't even connect into. <laughs> see, this is well, three three, yeah. and that's three thirty seven. That doesn't even no, connect. No, yeah. the only three only three two is on O'Brien. Well, I I think that the homeowner was on. O'Brien and maybe looking across. Didn't okay. say where they. What happened, yeah. What happened to the postcard? Did you turn it over? Yeah, I gave it back to. Her. Well, either way, we're not gonna. Yeah, it's probably okay. we can't <laughs> we can't go tramping through other people's property to find some. <clears throat> fifty-five three three. Let's see, fifty-five three three, and all this. I mean, I was thinking, well, if I drive by and I see something obvious mm -hmm. on O'Brien. And then what do I do? Mm -hmm. Just report it to them. I mean, is this the, this 
they, they no, it's, stuff it's, like passed it's, on through deeds, you know. Like, it's not right either. It is. Oh. The, I mean, some of this stuff is written in the deeds, but I have, you know, people don't pay attention to the deeds. It's, it's never been the commission's on. No, that's not our. That's not right. our responsibility in terms no, of. Those people we have permission to do that. Right. Yeah. <coughs> so this was. Okay. These were the examples of these early ones that were done, including the Highlands. That you know, we just at least the Highlands but we got stuck. The Highlands, Highlands at least has, has the contribution restrictions on them. Mm -hmm. and the, right. the, these were set up as, as common land for use by the homeowners in the, right. mm -hmm. in the development. But yeah, those were easements. easements. They, they were easements. They were not just common land. I think yeah, that space, that big easements. space that wasn't mm -hmm. green is probably common land that they can use. Right. But those little green pieces are easements. They're all cut up and worthless, mm -hmm. for really. Well, except for the small things, you know, but, you know, but, and I think it might be that RCCD does, you know, monitor. yeah, monitor more supposedly. I can't imagine how you would monitor those little pieces, but, but it could be done, yes, you know. Are you all set with this, so. well, wait, wait, I'm still trying to figure out what the, cause somewhere on. I saw that they were common land, and I don't see that on here. Well, I think there's a combination of common land and we could find out. Um, Where is um, Poor Farm Road here? Poor Farm is Road that, is, uh, is that over here? Uh, because there's a big common land over here yeah. with, where the out um, comes out onto Poor Farm Road, which then goes to Berry Road. So the big area for common land where they could have some recreation would be over here. Yeah, and there is a big rectangle of common land. Wait, wait, this, uh, yeah, probably. Big farm? Yeah. Yeah, okay. so I think that's the common land. Probably. No, I think this is it right here. Okay. Nine point two seven. Oh yeah, this is somebody this, else's yeah, land. Yeah, that's there. somebody else. But this is it right here. This is a big piece of property mm -hmm. for common land for recreation. <clears throat> if I remember. And what did the card say they were doing? Somebody was doing some work in there or something. They're cutting firewood, digging holes. It's common land, right? I can take a little common firewood for. Well, it's like when uh, when they had the problem up on Tremblay Drive, you know, the, with the ATVs and whatever run, running through the the common land, and I told the person who was concerned about it that that wasn't, you know, we're not responsible for that. That is, you know, homeowners association, and it should be. A mutual agreement as what could be done on that property. Mm -hmm. So NCC cannot do anything. Okay. Regarding this. Peter Landry um, drew this property out and put all those little easements on that map. Mm -hmm. that yes. Say no more. This, let's see, this. Is it from the Is this this is what what was Deb Stevens's land here? I didn't even know whether somebody one of the people that brought bought this whether they had done something, you know, up in here or something. I don't know. Hmm. That's not our responsibility either. That's uh, nope. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Okay. Some other things to bring to the table. Okay. All right, we're done with that. <clears throat> and then there was a big clip over here. <clears throat> and I'm leaving at 10 yeah. or 9. <laughs> really 9, mm -hmm. but it, it feels yeah. like 10. You do. Yeah, that's my cutoff. I, I think 9 o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, I've we got to cut this out. To do before teaching. Are we ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I've got four um, tests to score, so like I'm going to do an, that. But. Uh, an informal presentation to the planning board um, this past week um, for property that is owned by um, uh, Mrs. Phyllis Rehill, and um, her son came in and they um, have run into some medical issues with his mom, and they are proposing to subdivide property. This is off on 156, across from the Friend property, the place they had the restored barn. 
Um, they just wanted a conceptual um, site review, which is non-binding to the planning board, and the existing um, house with barn is here. Mm -hmm. On the north side is a little camp that's all that's now owned by somebody else. Yeah. But they plan, they propose to have two lots um, on the south, going south on 156, and then um, three other lots on White's Grove Road. They really don't want to do this, but it's a matter of, of finances. So I asked Mr. Um, Peter White, who came in with um, um, Bradford Bruno, Mrs. Wiggill's son, if he would mind if the Conservation Commission just did a casual take a look at it. You know, check out the, slope it, uh, the, uh, the slopes, um, see if there's any wetlands that um, we could recommend that they not put something right here, but maybe put it over here. And, the, and they were very um, grateful if we wanted to just just go and just take a casual look. How many acres are the um, lots? They're small. Mm -hmm. This is on two and two and two and two and three point two. Mm -hmm. um, the, so the total. So there's nothing there now except for that one that's got a little cabin and the well, house, and the, the big, big house. old house, the big house. Okay, this big house, house and barn. This house and the front house used to be owned by the same people. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Maybe they were whites and yeah. then sold it to the friends. Mm -hmm. um, but as the you go up parents. over the hill, yep. this just is before in friends' place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, I'll bring it to the meeting on Monday. I have contact information. Um, it's great that they want to go open out. And I prefer for three that. people rather than four, otherwise, I'd have to write it up as minutes. <laughs> well, That's if you, okay. whenever you go out, I could go out because I'm familiar with that. Okay. So I'll send out an email and you, uh, do we want to pick a date now and then see if that's okay with those folks? <coughs> do you want to do mm. it in an afternoon before I get stuck? It shouldn't take too long. What, if um, you do it, I could do it on my way home. You time? know what I mean? Um, depends on, so not Tuesday and not Friday. So a Wednesday or Thursday. <coughs> Like Wednesday or four o'clock. <clears throat> and what's today? The thirteenth. I could even well, do Wednesday, as early Thursday, as three thirty. Well, Wednesday, Thursday next week, or Thanksgiving the day before. Oh, I'm even thinking this week. Do you week. want to do? Just get it done with. Right, but um, these people um, have to have it um, that time available too. Oh, okay, they're they going to be there to point things out. Right. You just okay. We're just not going to descend and have nobody to talk okay. to. Okay, all right. right. I would recommend on Wednesday, Thursday, either the 29th or the 30th, or just recommend those two days and have them pick one. Okay. And whoever can make it, obviously, <coughs> you know, <laughs> supervise three people, so yeah. if mm -hmm. we can't make it, if it's, if it's Sue and Sam, reason. then it's Sue and Sam, you know. So, so we won't worry about it. Three thirty at the earliest. Yeah. And so you know, if uh, if it doesn't work, we can start at four thirty. So yeah, okay. I know. Yeah, so three thirty. Well, I'll contact the folks. I can do three thirty. And you're good with that. Yeah. And if I can't make it, then it's okay. Then we won't affect you. Oops, sorry. Does anybody want to take a look at this? I just need it back because it has contact information. I had spoken with Mrs. Rayhill oh, a number of years ago, and she asked me for a letter of recommendation to apply for barn restoration grants. Mm -hmm. So I did that with both of my hats. They were able to get grants to study the proposal and then another grant to restore the barn. So oh, excellent. Uh, that worked out really well for them. Okay. Would you say the name of it? Her name is Rayhill, R E H I L L. Her son is name is different. It's um, on the on the on the plans right here property. So, so I'm curious about this this one lot that's back here. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. Mm. I don't know if that's wetland or. Well, I mean, but how are they going to access that since there's no frontage? 
It's White Squirrel Road. Yeah, it's, it's that a road. private road. Oh, okay. So that's the road. which is maintained by the town, by the way. Mm. Right. We have a lot but, of private roads. There but do we not <laughs> have in our subdivision regs that there's no development on private road? That is correct. That's why they go to the ZBA. Right. Ah. So this is just a conceptual, and they have to get approval from the ZBA. All right, moving on, ladies, because you're going to leave in two minutes. <laughs> um, this uh, this week's of property. Yep. This week's of property on Ledge Farm Road is for sale, and we were contacted by a potential buyer who wanted to know about the conservation easement that South has. So I contacted um, Dwayne, who uh, directed um, their inquiries to somebody at South, so everybody was happy. I called okay. that person. Okay. All right. Thank the you. Potential buyer. Good. The other. And who did they contact? So. Hold on. I mean, did they contact somebody in the town or? No, no. They contacted somebody at South, and it wasn't Dwayne. He directed that inquiry to um, uh, Deborah Guard. G O A R D. Okay, but I meant, how did how did you get? Um, I get an email from Don. Sam, you were CC this. Yep. Was it from Don that we got a yeah, I think request? So. Okay, uh, that's that's why I just like wanted. Just didn't get time the, the so somebody essence, sent it blah, blah, blah. to Don and yeah. and then Don sent it to Sam and I. Okay. Okay. Um, the last thing is that from Chris, the town manager, we had an inquiry as to whether the Josh Stevens property on Stevens Hill Road um, has potential conservation easement qualities to it. That's mm. on Deb Stevens' son, who right. now lives up there. I don't know where Stevens Hill is and amazing. This is, um, this is oh. Josh Stevens' property. This is Stevens Hill Road. Here's Quincy Pond. Mm. And there's a brooklet that either drains into or out of. I'm going to say into Quincy Pond. But apparently, and I don't know what the acreage is. Mm. That's Map 46, lot 6 but must have put quite a bit of it into conservation. That's a hot spot for endangered yeah. species. And apparently there's a giant property owner that owns most of this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, some yeah. of this property Mark goes West into the easement. It's, 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 it's a developer. Trying to think, work but that out. Yeah. Probably 20 years now. <laughs> but yeah. The, but he hasn't the hasn't guy that owns the pond property is a developer? Yeah, he's yeah. from state. But you know, it's all about the money. We bought that 90 acres on Flutter Street from a developer. Right. So right. it doesn't matter. Uh, would, would you say that I was what? I'm sorry, map 46, Way. lot 6. Uh, 6. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one, yeah, here, here we go. Lot 6 is that acreage? Uh, Oh my God. I knew it I it might know. be connected to another map down here. Mm. What's down here? Map 46, mm. lot 8. 6. 6. It does. Conservation. No, map 46, lot 6, 0. Mm. This is just not that's just responding very well. But there's no acreage here. Can you pull that up, Cheryl? Yep. Just trying. Yeah, she's having some issues. Mm -hmm. no. It's just really slow. Map, map 46 is this one. It's probably 103 acres. Is that 103 wow. acres? Really? So is he interested in gifting or just putting it into a on Probably yeah. not gifting. Oh, on, on <laughs> so wishful thinking. 47. So total acreage on it is... 103? Uh, let's see. 103 acres, yeah, two, two acres out, uh, 68 acres unmanaged pine, 33 acres unmanaged hardwood, and another 600 feet. Two acres out. Yep. And everything else is in current use. Current use. Current use. Current right, use. and then it's considered, um, they've got wet. some wetland <laughs> areas in there. Yeah, oh, up in the front oh, and on the back on as the back, well. On the back, anyway. Mm -hmm. okay. Coming through here. Well, I know. Uh, doesn't Paul live on Stevens Hill? Stevens Hill too, because he's, yeah. you know, beyond 
Yeah, he knows his property Mark, well. There's a lot, Mark, of, uh, right, there's a lot that, that of, I know there's a lot of unique yeah, wildlife that on yeah. that. That's right. Back Creek? Oh, nice. Back Creek. We, uh, we had someone call my work because there was a woodcock <laughs> that had nested right next to the road on uh -huh. Stevens Hill. <laughs> So all the little fluff Seems balls like a were good spot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but she uh she put a sign out and a radio on to keep them away from the road and oh. it worked and the mm. mom raised them. But well that's a that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. There's a it's just there's a lot of really cool oh, yeah, that looks great habitat. It's gotta be back creek. So it's got 895 feet of frontage on Stevens. Okay, 890, 890 what? Mm. 895, mm. plus or minus, mm. it says. But eight, 895 feet of frontage, which is very long and narrow. And then back at the other end, if I can ever get there. Um, Does it end at Back Creek, pretty much? Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's the property line. On the line. other side? Uh, yeah. it, I mean, it ends. So Back Creek runs between that property and, and the mm -hmm. property to the would be what southeast. Oh, okay. oh, so this is Back nice. Creek here. This, yeah. this is this. Oh, wow, that's kind of exciting. Wow. And then what about budget? Have you started working on the budget yet? Are you just going to make it up? Okay. Already, already submitted it. Oh yeah, it's on it, Sue. Yeah, we we have it on the. If you looked at the minutes from I last tried month. I to, but um, I was in a hurry and I tried to download it. All right. Do that. Well, it's on there. Okay. So take a look at that. And I think somebody, maybe Liz, somebody. Oh no, you right? Didn't you? I sent you sent it. Okay, thank you. Yep. Yeah, sorry that yeah, I just I cut and pasted because it was. And then I thought, let me check to see if somebody else did it. Yeah. And I went, oh, okay. Was I was just lazy and thought, this is just the easiest the way for everybody to see my crappy. So I'll never get hired as secretary because I take really crappy notes. Oh, mine were worse. <laughs> I just, I don't take down any details. So, uh, and so I, I, I did so sure what you see is do what I you. Do I have an assignment to do something with it? Well, I'm not going to pretty, I mean, I can pretty them up a little bit, but yeah, there, it's missing, I'm sorry, but it's missing mm -hmm. a lot of information that I didn't get down, so if anyone, maybe Liz might remember some things, maybe Sam, so yeah, if you can, wasn't here, so yeah, you, you, neither of you were here, so if anyone can remember right. stuff, but I don't put down all the details that Sue does, so what you see is what you get, <clears throat> and it's not going to have all those nice okay. details. <laughs> Well, I'm not taking over, that's for sure. <laughs> and I know it's a lot of work, but it's, yeah, I'm just not good so at it. So your shoes are hard to fill. Yes. So that was it for me. Okay. Anybody else got anything else they want to bring up? Will we adjourn? I don't think so. I'll second. Moved and second to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, everybody. Good night, everybody.